Hey everyone, this one is just a quick follow up video for last week's video on SEO for WordPress websites part one. Now there's some new information I got and I feel this is important enough to make a follow up so that way everybody is getting the correct information. For me, that's really important. Last week's video was on adding HTML5 semantic tags to your Elementor and Bricks website. And those are the tags like your header tag, your footer tag, the main article aside tag. Those are the main HTML5 semantic tags that basically tells Google this is the part of your website. And they're really important to use the right way in order to make your website SEO friendly. Now, while doing this, I've always had a bit of a challenge adding the header, footer, and main tag with Elementor, and I used workarounds that I found. And a big thanks to Joe and a big shout out as well for leaving a comment inside the video showing a better way of adding your header and footer tag to your headers and footers. So I want to show you that way because it's much better. And in fact, I'm in the process of changing and updating our websites as well. And I have have to say this is why I love creating content so much because we're all learning here as part of a community we're all inside this process this growth process and learning process and we're doing it together so I'm really happy to do this and I'm really grateful to all of you as well participating and also sharing your knowledge and experience inside comments inside videos like this and in other places where we're creating content and learning stuff about elements or and web design stuff like that okay so really quickly I'm going to show you the updated way to add your header tag your footer tag and I found a workaround to add the main tag as well in Elementor which is much easier uh, it's a very simple way so it's going to be really quick let's take a look so we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video and let's go ahead and start with the header so I'm going to edit the header and the goal was to add a header tag around the entire header now before I was using a different method and usually I would just go to the section and I'll go to my HTML tag, which you see I have here. And that works because it does wrap the header around it. And then right here we have our navigation. So as long as the header tag wraps around our nav, that's great. That's what Google wants to see. But the problem with this is we we'll sometimes have multiple sections. Like I'll have another section up here. And that's where in the last video I found my challenge. But this is where Joe's solution came, something that I completely overlooked. So I'm going to move this back over here from the HTML tag in the section. I'm going to change this to a div. And then in the section above it, I'm also going to change to a div. And the reason why I'm making this a div and not a section is because a section should be in the middle of the web page showing like here's a section of content, here's a section of content, and so on. So we're going to make these divs, but now we need to wrap it up in a header tag. And we're going to do that down here inside the settings uh, section right here. And we could go and wrap it around in the HTML tag as a header. I have to be honest, I never really worked with inside the settings right here. So this was awesome seeing the solution. This solves the problem that I found last time. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out inside our inspect element. Let's inspect. And if we go here, this is what we want to see. We want to see that header and everything at the top of the page wrapped up inside the header tag. Now we could do this as well with the footer. Same exact thing. So I'm going to go over here to my footer section. I'm going to go to the section right here. I'm going to remove the footer tag from there because a lot of the times we may use multiple sections or containers depending on the version of elements we're using. I'm going to put a div. I'm not going to use a section. I want to use a div here. Then I'm going to go to the settings and right here inside the settings for our footer settings, this is where I'm going to add the footer tag. Let's go ahead and update this and take a look in our front end. All right, let's inspect this and there we go. We got our footer tag. There's only divs inside of it. That's good. So this is the correct way to do the footer and the header. Uh, main thing is we want that footer tag wrapping around your entire footer, the header tag wrapping around your whole header, and to make sure you have that nav tag inside your header. Uh, more of that is inside the other videos, so you can check those out. 
But I did find another solution though for adding the main tags. I saw somebody comment like, hey, I got the main tag. And I'm like, that's strange because uh, I don't. <laughs> Let me see what's happening here. So I'll click on inspect element. And I notice inside the body, you know, we have our header and usually the main tag should be right below the header and right above the footer. So the right way to have your your structure for your semantic tags is your header then main and then footer and then inside your main tag you'll have your sections that break up the different parts of the web page but i didn't find any options for this but i did find the solution i found out how to get this to work all right so let's go here to edit with elementor and then here i'm going to go back to the settings and I found it was having it on Elementor full width that caused this. So if I go to theme and I use the theme settings and I'm using hello theme, let me go ahead and update this. Take a look at the front. Let's look at our inspect element so we could see our HTML. And then right here underneath the header, we have our main. So you see here, you got your header, main and footer. And if we were to go back over here, let's go back to our page settings. Then we just got to go on high title and it'll remove that top bar. It'll remove that H1. So it's not even inside our HTML. And that's it. It's really simple and easy to do. And for me, it was really important to make this update because I want to show everybody how to do things the best way possible. I'm very big on best practices. And look, at when we're creating websites and we're getting into the world of web development and web design, it is a constant journey to learn and improve, to try to build processes, systems, and constantly trying to optimize everything, including our own education and skills. And that's the reason why again i love doing this because we're here learning as a community and if you want to continue learning how to make your websites seo friendly and just learning about web design elementor and now bricks coming out well make sure to subscribe like do all that good youtube stuff i really hope you found this helpful thank you everyone and i'll be back again soon